tomorrow's Valentine's Day. So I thought that we should do something Valentine's-like that doesn't include bananas. I don't even want to know. <laughs> yes, you keep stroking your ducky. tomorrow is Valentine's Day, we can make some sort of cocktail that is a little bit fancy, a little romantic, and bubbles is always pretty romantic. Fair enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine champagne and whiskey along with some strawberries. And what's it called? Bubbly whiskey? It didn't have a name? No. So we're doing a no-name cocktail. Works for me. So. Tell me. What do we need? We are going to actually start with Red Breast. And we actually. This, went, this is my favorite part of the show. We actually went ahead and poured some because it's been a while since we've actually had some Red Breast. The recipe calls for an Irish whiskey. So we talked yeah. about it and think it's a little bit more gentle. A little bit more flavorful. Uh, the standard Jameson is very gently, very soft. This has more of the barrel tannin notes that you that you get in a whiskey that's aged a little longer, uh, twelve year. Obviously, this has been in barrel uh, uh, for twelve years. But you also get uh, on a proper pot still whiskey, which this is, uh, a little bit more uh, bigger notes, bigger fruit notes. You get the cream. You get the, the biscuit uh, uh, that you will get in, uh, in in the red breast valve, and that's something that a, a column still whiskey like Jameson, which is, if I remember correctly, seventy percent seventy percent column still. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, and the rest is possible. So that's just something that you miss in the cheaper ones. So going for a bottle like this uh, seems like if, if you do it, do it right. I can tell you though, this is very nice to drink. It has a good mouth feel. It's sweet. It's, but it's not too, mm. too, flighty, too, too, too thin. It has a nice body to it. It has a linger to it. Yeah, tasting uh, it again, I definitely think that this will pair really well with the champagne. This is. Um, <laughs> Personally, I like the sweet champagne, the sweet proseccos and cavas. So this one is very sweet. Yeah, if you compare this to a French champagne, the French have the brut and the demi sec, and this is way sweeter than the demi sec is. This is almost a uh, dessert champagne. It's yeah, it is sort of. I, I, I can see with that. But I will let you go ahead and open the champagne. Yeah, put that down. I saw you going for it. So, I let him get the champagne, and how this starts is you put a couple strawberries in your glass. We got really big strawberries, so it's not as many as I thought would fit in there. I, I think it too, you, you were there. Okay, so, we basically, you take a um, shaker and you put ice in it. It calls for taking regular blocks of ice and cutting them into shards, or I guess beating them into shards. But our ice actually is crushed ice, so I cheated. <laughs> and How much do I need? So per glass, we need 90 milliliters or three ounces. I thought this was with the fizzy wine interesting to pour because I cannot see where the foam stops and the wine starts. So I'm kind of have to guess it. I think this is 60. Yeah, it looks like it. Oops. I can still cannot do it without spilling. We'll see if, if over the years it becomes better. If not, mock me. 
okay? And then we're gonna need 15 milliliters or about a half an ounce of Irish whiskey. Per glass. Per glass. And again, in our case, we're gonna be doing red breast. Now, the important thing about this one is we don't actually need to shake it. We are just going to use the shaker to stir and strain. And if you don't have a shaker that strains or a glass will do with a strainer on top, and then you simply pour it. Into chilled glasses with your strawberries. And, and I think you were intending to do this? Yeah, but it's a little bit much now. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So, cheers. Cheers. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>